Crafters, I'm Courtney. And I'm the cat in the hat. And today we're gonna be making some super duper Dr. Seuss science craft. But first. I love science! Oh, no, cat, not yet, not yet, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh, oh! Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, I'm sorry, Courtney. It's okay. <laughs> Well, are you ready to make some sciency crafts with me? Of course. But first, we uh, we have to clean up this mess. I always clean up my science messes. <laughs> um, are those green eggs? Yeah. I do not like them. I love them, especially with ham. Well, that's great, just like Sam I am, except you cannot eat these green eggs and ham. They're slime. No, oh, I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. We're going to use this slime to teach us how things change, how something can go from a liquid to a Sticky slime. Looks like icky, sticky fun. <laughs> We're gonna start by mixing an entire glue into this bowl. Ooh, make sure you <laughs> get it all. Thank you, Cat in the Hat. <laughs> then we're gonna pour in half a cup of liquid starch. Ooh, yes. And half a cup of water. Oh, I will help you. Perfect. Now we're gonna stir it all up. Oh. Cat in the Hat, look. Can you already see it starting to change? Oh, my. oh yes, I think I see it. Oh. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's keep stirring. Stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to take half of this slime and I'm going to transfer it over to this bowl. And then I'm going to put three to four drops of natural green food coloring in it. Ooh. This is going to be our egg yolk. Yuck. Yolk. Oh, yucky yolk. <laughs> now glue has these tiny pieces called polymers. They're like wiggly, squiggly spaghetti. Yum, spaghetti. Ooh, this is making me hungry. Well, normally these spaghetti pieces, they slide around and that's why glue stays a liquid. However, oh. when you add liquid starch to it, all of those pieces, they start to stick together like a ladder. And then your glue, it becomes thicker and stretchier for slime. That's a pretty cool chemical reaction, isn't it, Cat in the Hat? Someone ate my lunch! <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Excuse moi. Oh, that's right. I ate it. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I made a paper green ham to go with our green egg slime. That's perfect. Our science meal is almost complete. Let's put it all together. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and voila! Slimy green eggs and ham. Are you ready for our next science craft? Ready! One, two, three! One fish, two fish. Sink fish, float fish. <laughs> for our next science craft, we're gonna be making two fish to see whether they sink or whether they float. Cat in the Hat, do you know why things sink? I know that if things are heavy, they sink. And if things are light, they float. That's right. We're gonna be making one fish out of sponge <laughs> and the other fish out of a spoon and some paper. And then we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna draw my fish shape on this sponge. Oh. Excellent. Now that I have my shape, I need to cut the shape out. Cat in a hat, would you? Thank you. Always ready for you. Don't forget, if you're using scissors, ask for a grown-up's help if you need it. Of course. I think we should name him Spencer. Spencer the Sponge Fish. I like it, Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Thank you, yay. <laughs> and now you can add stickers or sequins for scales. Oh, it's looking great. But you know what? He can't see. I think he needs some eyes or an eye. Do you know if he... Oh! Googly eyes! <laughs> Cat in the Hat, you scared me again. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we will add our eyes. 
Spencer the sponge fish is done. Looks perfect. <laughs> now it's time to make our spoon fish. How about Sasha Spoonfish? <laughs> I like it. We'll trace <laughs> the outline of our fish on this paper. And then we'll cut it out. Snip. Great. Now we have our cutout. You wrap the fish around the spoon and tape it down. Now we can decorate her. Yippee! I'm going to add some sequence for the scales. Both fish have to have scales. Looks perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Cat in the Hat. <laughs> of course, Courtney. Sasha the Spoonfish needs a googly eye. Ta-da! All right, are you ready to see who will sink or who will float? Oh, I can't take it. Here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's Spencer the sponge fish. Yippee, I was right. You were right. A sponge is light because it has tiny holes with lots of air. A metal spoon is heavy because it's solid all the way through. Things that are light and airy will float. Things that are solid and heavy will sink. That's what we call density. That was density intensity. <laughs> are you ready for our last craft? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> All clean. <laughs> oh, these flowers are so colorful. They are. They remind me of the tufts of the truffula trees in the Lorax. That's why we're going to change these white flowers into them. You can do that? Yes, of course. And so can you. Do you know why? Flowers drink water just like you and me. Think of their stems like a straw that sucks up water and food from the soil and goes all the way to the petals and the leaves. They drink through their feet? <laughs> <laughs> so all you have to do is put a white flower in colored water and it's gonna change the petals to that color. If I drink red juice, will I turn red? <laughs> Silly cat, you are not a flower. Of course. <laughs> All right, well, let's pick your favorite color and add 20 to 30 drops of natural food coloring. Thanks for the help. Now, we're gonna cut the stems at an angle. Thank you. And do not forget, ask a grown up for help with the scissors. Snip, we'll stick it in. Would you like to put a flower in? Just drop it in. Fantastic. And here we are. Ta-da! <laughs> and now what? Well, now we wait. You know what? I think we need to allow these flowers to drink for a few more days. You'll start to see them change as they drink each day. Should I do my nifty speed up trick? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Wow, that was a really cool trick, Cat in the Hat. Thanks. Time flies when you speed it up. <laughs> it's true. <gasps> wow, look at our flowers. They really did drink the colored water. But if they aren't thirsty anymore, are they hungry? Flowers eat sunlight. What? <laughs> yes, they drink water like we do, but their leaves turn sunlight into food. So just by being outside, they're eating lunch? Plants really are amazing, and they make great gifts, too. Crafts are even more fun when you make them for someone special. Well, then, these are for you. Oh, thank you so much. I love these flowers. You are a very special crafting friend. Oh. And you are, too. Thank you so much for hanging out making crafts. And, and science! science! <laughs>